Hi! We've recently told you about wedding traditions that are common in many countries. Now, I want to tell you about the pre-wedding and post-wedding traditions that may be rare, but no less important. So, pre-wedding traditions. There are a lot of traditions that happen before the wedding. In the past, the engagement process used to start with the official permission of the parents. In many countries, parents chose a spouse for their daughter or son, and the permission itself meant that both parties agreed to the marriage of their children. However, if a girl and a guy wanted to get married for love, they had to convince their parents of their choice. The parents inspected the suggested bride or groom, discussed the dowry of the bride, her beauty, character, talents, and the capability of the groom to provide a good life for the girl. Only after that would the couple be officially considered engaged. Nowadays, in most countries, young people have a great independence, and the engagement is oftentimes a proposal in which only lovers participate. The groom gives his chosen one engagement ring, and if the woman accepts the ring, it means that she agrees to marry him. It used to be that in many countries the girl was supposed to bring wealth to the groom's house and therefore prepared a large dowry, which could become a mainstay of future prosperity. Moreover, if the husband died, it could feed her and the children. The dowry could include expensive fabrics, precious metals, money and even property. One of the wedding traditions in Germany prescribed a girl to save coins from early age and then buy shoes for the wedding paying for them exclusively in these coins. In many countries, before the wedding, the groom had to cook the girl by giving her expecting gifts. Usually, those were precious jewelry. For example, in China, the groom had to give 9 gifts to the bride. In Spain, the groom gave the bride 13 coins as a sign that he could take care of her and support her in life. There are different traditions for the bride and groom, which symbolize partying with bachelor life. Usually bachelor parties are fun and noisy with only male friends. There used to be more competitions with wooden swords in ancient Rome, and the groom always won in any match. In Russia and Armenia, a bachelor party is traditionally celebrated in sauna. Bachelorette parties these days can also be funny and even a little crazy, but in the past they used to be much calmer and full of rituals. During the bachelorette party, the bride used to give all her toys to charity, so that meant that she could accept her new, serious role in life. In some countries, the bride had to say goodbye to her father's house in tears, and it was believed that the more tears she showed, the happier her future family life would be. Now, let's look at post-wedding traditions. A very beautiful post-wedding tradition exists in Austria. The bride and groom must send each of the guests who were present at the church or at feast the best wedding photo with a warm, sincere thank you inscription. In China and Scandinavian countries, the wedding is followed by a ceremony of seeing of the bride and groom. After the wedding feast, friends and family accompany the newlyweds to the bedroom, making as much noise as possible and teasing them. Guests try to stay in the room for as long as possible until the bride and groom chase them away. In Hungary, according to an old tradition, on the next morning after this celebration, the bride goes with the guests to a well and washes them. And after that, she can't leave her house for seven days. The Nigerians have an interesting ceremony too. The young husband has to pass through the corridor of the relatives who beat them with sticks. The belief says that only such an experience will make him ready for a family life. In many Muslim countries, other wedding guests must visit the home of the newly married couple, where the girl must show that she is coping well with her responsibilities, that she can manage with the household, receive guests, and that she is neat, obedient, and clean. These pre- and post-wedding traditions 
are not as common as the variant traditions we talked about in the previous video, but we have to admit they are no less interesting and important to the newlyweds. Stay tuned and we'll tell you about other interesting traditions from specific countries.